The following is a commercial presentation brought to you by Collectibles Guru. Hi, I'm Gary Ashburn, and I've been working in the world of collectibles and memorabilia for over 30 years. Here at the Collectibles Guru, we only bring you genuine and exclusive memorabilia from the worlds of sport, music, TV and film, heritage, and even more. Every item we bring you will come with a certificate of authenticity. It'll have our name, our address, our phone number. In other words, you can always contact us. And most important, we're a member of Aftal, who are one of the top three autograph trade associations in the world. This means that every collectible item we bring you is guaranteed 100% genuine. So when we say an item is signed, we guarantee it is hand signed and not a printed or a facsimile signature. So if you're looking for a unique, unusual and highly collectible gift for yourself or for someone you love, then this is the place to be. Hello everybody and a very good evening. Welcome to Sporty Stuff TV. My name is Ben Mosby and thank you for joining us for another episode of The Collectibles Guru. We're here every Sunday night at 10 o'clock and of course you can watch this repeated through the week as well. And with being this, uh, being this Sporty Stuff TV, Obviously, a lot of the shows that you will have seen over the last few weeks have been sport related, but you know what? We thought we'd throw a bit of a curveball tonight and go down the music line and have a look at some amazing music collectibles. And to bring all of those items to us over the course of the next hour is the collectibles guru himself, uh, the one and only Gaza. Gary Ashburn, how are you? Good, um, mate. Good, good to mate. see you. Yeah. yeah. Good to see you. How you doing? Um, it's nice to do like a slightly uh, different show, isn't it? Because you've done a lot of sports shows, but you do a lot more than that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We do, um, you know, music, TV, film. So, yeah, keep watching. You'll be a whole range of different subjects. Obviously, it's predominantly sport because it's a sports channel, sporty stuff, TV, the home of collectibles. But we thought also it's a great opportunity to show you a lot of the other great collectibles that are out there, like music, TV, film, heritage, royalty, Military, you you have a little look. Go to the website, you'll be amazed what's on there. But uh, we hope we hit the right notes tonight anyway with this one, don't we? Eh? Started already, isn't he? Started already. <laughs> uh, the website is the place to go because uh, you'll see everything on there, collectiblesguru.com. You'll be able to uh, buy your items there too. Um, you'll have to spread the cost over four interest-free payments. And again, like you said, mainly sport items we featured here on Sporty Stuff TV, but you know, music, I can see some uh, movie stuff there as well. Gather. Yeah, music, mu mu music, music. music. <laughs> <laughs> music. I'm getting in the mood, man. <laughs> yeah. Dancing. yeah, no, yeah, music, royalty, uh, it's something for everybody there. So, yeah, do have a look. And remember, it does change all the time. So things sell. We don't have big stocks of a lot of these, you know. Yeah. So don't uh, don't hesitate. That's the key thing. But it is all about music, this show. I know uh, Gaz is very excited. He was strutting his stuff around the studio. Yeah, I like before, that when I early. You know, before, yeah. Measure <laughs> three on the Richter scale, but never mind. <laughs> Hold the tables down. Yeah, you know. we had to restrain him, get him sat back down again. The neighbours were complaining. Um, <laughs> some great items coming up. Shall we see what's coming up in the first half, Casa? Yeah, here we go. Now, look at this. Amazing. This is this is a wonderful item. This is Foo Fighters. It's uh, a, a guitar there, actually hand-signed by Nate Mendel. Great item. Obviously, it's a considerable purchase, but these are really rare. Then we have the Queen, one of our most popular discs. Very few of them left now. This is one of many we have different discs. They're all a limited edition of 100 so they come with an individual number basically the one you get is the only one in the world then we have oh this is great wow. Elton John and Dua Lipa Dua Lipa I never know how to pronounce that Dua Lipa sounds like DJ didn't it 16 by <laughs> 12 it's a great mounted photograph of Elton in action there and of course the CD from the uh, the big number one hit and it's personally signed by both of them then of course the Stones uh, again a great great rock band seen them live they're brilliant this is Black and Blue one of the framed uh, discs we have uh, they're all a limited edition of 100 and they're much bigger than the normal ones 24 by 12 inches. <laughs> it's old Aussie here, yeah, yeah. Lock your birds away when Aussie's about. <laughs> Look away. Here, Aussie Osborne, personally signed, 16 by 12. Great image of him there, hand signed on the CD case with the CD. That's a stunner, isn't it? That would look brilliant framed up. Then Rod, I love old Rod Stewart. Seeing him live is brilliant. Uh, personally signed, 12 by 10. You've got that CD, photo CD, and the photograph of Rod Stewart. Hand signed, comes framed and uh, mounted, ready to hang on your wall. 
Then Kylie, I'd certainly like this on my wall. I had the pleasure of meeting her once. She's a darling. Uh, lovely person as well as a great act. Uh, hand signed, great image of her there in um, pre-stage gear, I guess. And then you've got a <laughs> hand signed signature. And then David Bowie there, another great disc. Bowie's massive. This is a huge album. If you know about a Bowie fan, please don't hesitate. These are so, so popular and they're just great. Hang them on the wall, they turn heads, they really do. Then what can we say about this? Sadly, Olivia Newton-John recently no longer with us, but it, this takes you back to the time of Grease, that great movie, so many hits that rolled on, didn't they? With John Travolta, that's the first one from the first part of the show. Again, that's a limited edition of only 100. Yeah, some amazing items. Uh, as you can see, you can find out more about those, of course, and pick them up on the website, collectiblesguru.com. But don't delay. We know it's been super busy over the last few weeks. Lots of people shopping for that uh, very special Christmas gift. Because it's a great time oh. to buy these sort of items, isn't it? Well, it is, because soon I'll have my white beard on and my red hat in one of the stores, <laughs> when I? And I get, get a proper job. He's got to work say, at Christmas know. time, hasn't he? He's got to work. Yeah, oh, yeah, got to work, yeah. <laughs> Trou <laughs> yeah. Trouble is, you know, no, we won't go there. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's all coming up. So whatever the occasion, whether it is a bit of seasonal stuff or it's a special occasion, all of these make fabulous gifts. They really do. You certainly hit the, the, the strings of their heart with any of these items, I tell you. you know. There's no stopping him tonight, is there? There's no. no stopping him. I'd love to have been a rock guitarist. I, I someone said I didn't have the shape, but I had the age. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> you play any musical instruments or not? <laughs> Not I'm allowed to say on air. Right, no, okay. no, I have. I, I played the drums a bit when I was younger. Yeah. My old man played jazz in a, yeah. you know, a drummer in a jazz band. So mm. I used to play a bit. He taught me a bit. But no, I wish to God I had. I've had guitars and things, but you end up sort of strumming them a little bit, and people go shut up. You know. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's one I'm of those. Sure that was the singing that went with it, but never mind. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, you've got, you've got to play them well. And uh, one person, of course, who can play a guitar very well, uh, Nate Mantell of the uh, Foo Fighters. I mean, Gazza, you've brought some amazing items to this channel over the last few weeks, but this is an absolute stunner, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, these, these are one of. It's a one of. You know, it's no different. You, you know, you couldn't get another one. I'm pretty sure it's a one of anyway. It might have been two, but it's, it's amazing. And you can't get items like this, you know, so, so rare. And um, it's, it's, it's obviously a guitar, a working guitar, hand signed by the man himself. This actually originates from the, the guy who's the, uh, uh, one of the senior people in Aftau on the board. So it's got impeccable provenance. Mm. He actually goes all over the world picking items like this up. It's a big name, does a lot of charity events and things as well. So again, impeccable provenance. Obviously something like this is a true collector's item in, in every sense of the word. But if you're looking for something different or, you know, something that, m oh, I can't say, it, may well increase considerably in value, please don't buy it for that because we can't guarantee that. But past experience, items like this, you put this in a charity event, price, it could go through the roof, you know. Yeah. It is very, very rare. People love guitars. They look stunning, don't they? They do. And, and obviously, the, you know, the Foo Fighters have been much talked about this year, of course, um, with the sad passing of their drummer, Taylor Hawkins, has been like the, the tribute concerts. And, mm. um, you know, they've been so relevant. You know, when they started, I bought their first album. It must have been early to mid 90s uh, as their, their first song was called this is a corn i absolutely loved it bought the album it's fantastic and mm. i think a lot of uh, foo fighters fans from then you know um throughout the you know the last sort of 20 years as well but also nirvana fans um will obviously love the foos because yeah. dave grohl was the guy from nirvana the drummer of nirvana who um who set up the foo fighters after the passing of kurt cobain so you know a huge following you know a massive uh, rock band as i say as relevant today as they were when they started well, I want to say 20 years ago, it's probably nearly 30 years ago. Um, but like you said, it's, it's one of those kind of once in a lifetime chance to, to get your hands on this if you're a Foo Fighters fan or indeed just a fan of, of, of rock music in general. Well, they're a massive, massive band, aren't they? I mean, I know a few people who've seen them live and they say they are really fantastic. Yeah. They're one of the bands I'd love to see live because I've never actually seen them live. But mm. they're, they're great talent. And I do love, you know, like a bit of rock, I must admit, you know. Yeah. 
I, do, I used to have the hair. I was going to say, you're not in the mosh point. pits anymore. The no, no. Hair. You used to no. swing your head to a bit of Zeppelin or something, you know, like. <laughs> is, that, is that where it all went? With yeah, the, yeah, the yeah it was like that, nodding. Yeah. Somebody's when I nodded, I laid about four people <laughs> out, you know, but never mind, you know. Uh, it is a considered purchase, this, of course, but what an amazing item. Uh, Foo Fighters, uh, Nate Mendel personally signed guitar, uh, £1,299.99. Um, details and more about that one on the website collectiblesguru.com but a really really very special piece hopefully over the course of this show um, for music lovers we've got you know your favorite artists featured we certainly have some real legends to come as well um, over the course of this show and lots of prices as well to suit different budgets because you know we realize not everybody's going to be able to afford that guitar however uh, prices for every pocket over the course of this show and as always if there's something that you know you haven't seen you want to see do get in touch with the studio at collectiblesguru.com uh, we'll do our very best on future shows to bring you anything that you're looking for but let's talk about um, one of the biggest bands of uh, all time and who certainly again have come back into more prominence because of the film Bohemian Rhapsody Queen yeah great band terrific band I mean I used to drive my other half Gaga playing it non-stop the album you know the hits it yeah. was like Crazy, crazy. So many know. hits, though, weren't they? Yeah, oh, yeah. They, they were amazing. I mean, Freddie Mercury was just an icon, a legend. And, I mean, anything to do with this band now, I mean, their value is very close to the Beatles and the Rolling Stones in terms of anything to do with them. I know recently somebody asked me to try and see if I could find them a signed photo of Freddie Mercury. It took me two years mm. to find a real one. And when I did find it, it was like, you know, you're talking about something that's four or five thousand pounds. Wow. You know, uh, it, it, it's, it's got to be, you know, there's yeah. obviously a lot of dodgy ones around, unfortunately. But the band are massive. And this is, this is, actually obviously it's still you know 249 pounds 99 but it's a very affordable way of getting something that's very unique there's only one of a hundred in the world mm. that a queen fan would adore it's all of these whichever artist it is you want they they are really stunning they look brilliant hang them on the wall they turn heads some of people may have heard the story i used to say when i was moving um it's a while ago now so hopefully they won't remember where um i had the estate agents around to look at it i had a slight 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 hairline crack in the wall i had all these discs up and no one ever noticed the crack he's going oh wow you're in the music industry they go yeah yeah i do a little bit you know is that you talk as well yeah that's yeah, my yeah, dj yeah, boss yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this dj don't mess with the rest tyrone's here baby you know and all that you know? and they they they, and they they always notice them they turn heads all the time yeah. totally they really do uh, and the thing to say as well, a limited edition of 100, but we've got far less than that available. And I think the other thing to point out is there, um, well, you can see them behind us here, they're a big size, they're, they're, mm. they're really eye-catching pieces. Aren't well, they? these, if you've seen the normal discs, the ones, the every, the ones that are produced for the artists, the original ones where they produce maybe six or seven of them for the, you know, the, clo the band and the close people, managers and stuff. These are actually, they're at normally 16 by 12 inches. These are 24 inches by 20, quite a lot bigger. But they come with, um, uh, they've, they're unique in this format actually to this channel as well, because this was part of an original promotion with another TV channel. And now we just have what is left, what we've managed to nab of the stock that's remaining. It's, that's why they're small numbers. But these are not available anywhere else in this format. You'll only see them here on Sporty Stuff TV. They do come with a, an individual uh, certificate of authenticity, which will tell you and uh, will agree with the number on there. So, you know, this is number six or whatever it is of the of the hundred and the certificate will coincide with that so keep it all together but they're absolutely superb really brilliant I tell, stick them on the wall they'll turn heads and you're certainly going to want more once you've got one yeah and, and you know what one of those bands you think about you know sporty stuff tv queen one of those bands you'll hear on the tannoy before the game songs like don't stop me now you know we are the champions it's that kind of music yeah. uh, which just goes so well with whatever your sport uh, might be so it's a lovely piece snap this up if you're a queen fan or you know someone who is that really is a, a, a stunning item and again a great gift idea that someone can love and cherish for many many years £249.99 is your price if you want to play on clear pay you can you've got to do it at the website collectiblesguru.com but you can pay to £62.50 today as your first payment of four and that will be on its way 
to you. Next up, a brand new item featuring one of my favourite artists. I've seen this guy live in concert twice, actually. Uh, Elton John. I mean, absolute. What I mean, what a talent. What a great live artist as well. And this is actually um, featuring his duet that he did. I can't believe this. We was chatting to uh, we were chatting to Daniel before the show, who, who, who runs the show. Yeah. Um, and this song was actually August last year. Elton John and Dua Lipa, Cold Heart. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, yeah, Elton John's just huge. And now that he's, he's said he's officially retiring, he's on his last world tour, which yeah. has been extended. Seems to be going and going and but going, it's been, it? Because of the problems we've had through yeah. the world with, you know, COVID and other things like this, the tour's got extended, extended, extended. But it is still going on. But he's firm now that this is the end of it, isn't he? Mm. So I know people who've seen him, and uh, I've actually never seen Elton John live. I'd love to. It's one of the people I, I'd really love to see live because everybody said when he walks out he just sort of grabs it doesn't he yeah, the he audience does. you know a lot of those acts like that I mean a lot of the people in this show and I they walk on the stage and they own it and Elton's like, you. like that. Yeah, yeah. You know. It's only because I bought the wood on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but again it's, it's a lovely piece. Um, so it's signed by both of them as well, right? Yeah, it's a great item. I mean, Elton John is a very difficult and very sought after signature. Mm. The value of his signatures increased quite a lot in the last couple of years. Deliberately, though, um, I think because now people are aware that if I don't get it now, when do I ever get it? Mm. You know, so he's very, very hard to get and very sought after. So hence, you know, he's obviously helped that particular piece. You say oh, signed by both of them. Fabulous item. And it was signed in person. And again, this comes from a guy who's on the board of Aftau, you know, travels the world, getting all these sort of items. So it's impeccable provenance. And do remember any of these items, if you're getting it for the first time, do keep the certificate of authenticity and everything that comes with it, because mm. it's an important part of the package. I mean, sometimes people say it can add 20% to the value. If it's coming, you know, with a background of a PDSA or an Aftau, a society like that, because people trust and know that, that everything on there, you know, they actually authenticate all Grass, so you can't go wrong, really. I think for what you're getting there, you know, Elton John, legend, Dua Lipa, who again, you know, is um, someone who's doing great things in the music world right now. That song won so many awards and uh, got to number one all over the world. I think that piece for that price is phenomenal. £399.99, £100 today on clear pay if you want to uh, spread the cost of before payments. But do go quickly on that one because I, I do know that is one of the uh, most lowest stocked items that we've got on this show. Single figures only there. So very, very quickly um, if you want to grab that. Uh, collectiblesguru.com to shop. Of course, if you want to phone, you can 0800 254 5402. Um, we have got so many legends on this show, not only the one sat to my right, uh, but Elton John. And also, I know you were chatting about this one before the show. This is one of your faves, the, the Rolling Stones, guys. I love the Stones. Obviously, I grew up with the Stones. I've seen them live a couple of times. I mean, at their age, I couldn't dance like Mick Jagger. I was 21, <laughs> let alone, you know, what he is now. But yeah, they're amazing. I mean, sadly, Charlie Watts no longer with us as well they're they're an institution uh, generally reckoned to be the people would argue others but i think generally if you had a if you had a vote on it be voted the top rock band for several decades yeah. now and this is brilliant you've got the same idea as the other one you've got here they a platinum disc of uh, black and blue their album uh, and uh, the reason they pick some of these, sometimes they try to pick albums like Sticky Fingers, hasn't got such a great image of the band. So this particular one's selected because it's got a good image that goes uh, okay. with it that relates to the period and the band. Mm. But um, they're great. You've got the lovely photograph there of the band. Then you've got the uh, what would be the cassette case normally and the actual platinum disc. And they are absolutely stunning. They really are brilliant, these. I know lots of people, uh, often you used to see it, people buy four or five, you know, maybe for a business or they're decorating a room they're building a, a man or a female version of their own room <laughs> you know <laughs> and uh, and you can't go wrong you know that they are fabulous and certainly if you've got a retail operation where people are coming in bars restaurants wine bars places mm. like that B&B &B, maybe hotel they just look fabulous they really do turn heads and people it's easy to pretend you know and you know people go oh are you in the business they go well yeah, I, I was. You know, you, you know, you can pretend. You anything. have to put that voice on as well if you do it, just to make it, you know, more genuine. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course, of course. Of course. Oh, yeah. We're like that, me and the Stones. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> they go, roll away, Gaza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving very swiftly on from uh, that. Uh, it's the Rolling Stones Black and Blue 24 by 20 inch frame platinum disc and photo display. Limited edition of 100, but once again, worth reiterating, we have far less than that available uh, this evening. If you want to pick yours up, £249.99 or £62.50 today is your first clear pay payment of four. Item number is 354. 209 is your item number. Uh, next up, this piece makes me smile actually because you know, um, yeah. Sharon, are we on? I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> I just, do you know, I just Sharon. knew he was gonna do that. Sharon, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath, yeah. of course. Uh, a lot of people will know him for his, um, you know, his uh, lead singer of the band, but again, he was brought sort of to a new generation with the uh, the show with the family, the Osbourne, yeah, that's he? right, family, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, I know him as a rock star, he was a bit of a boy, wasn't he? Like all rock musicians usually, you yeah, know, live life in the fast lane absolutely yeah. but he is, is a great act great character and again this is a fabulous piece with the, the, the black background the mount there and the disc on there and the, the you know the the gold right uh, the gold the silver writing mm. and signed in the silver pen it is stunning this comes mounted so it's ready for you to select and put in your own frame but it's a great item and I love Ozzy you know he's brilliant he's a great character remember all of these the ones that we say are signed are actually hand signed Sign, that's guaranteed not printed not facsimile not a, an altar pen we guarantee that they are hand signed and all of that info is captured for you on the certificate of authenticity and the lifetime guarantee you get so you can't go wrong with these you can't and again i love i just love the image on that you, you know the facial expression they're really summing up the kind of character he yeah. was and um ne never saw ozzy osborne or black sabbath live but you can imagine what those shows must have been like back in the day because like you say he was he was a bit of a one-off yeah i don't think want to be in the first three rows for various <laughs> reasons you know yeah. you'd be winging it to the back wouldn't you but uh, yeah he was um, he was a boy wasn't he Absolutely. Uh, great character and as you say the whole family became that was before some of these other ones that have I come think it was up like about the original families. one wasn't it the original yeah i think it show. probably was yeah because yeah, there's been others since yeah. isn't there that uh, you know i won't go into i don't watch them but, um i don't keep up with those no. you don't keep up with the kardashians no no, no, they've never rung me, no, so, you no. know, I just... <laughs> You could, you could you could write on only probably one hand the amount of people that haven't rang in from the world of celebrity. So <laughs> yeah, usually so say well we won't go. Yeah. I usually get an insult at the end of it. <laughs> uh, not for Ozzy though. Ozzy Osbourne personally signed this one, 16 by 12 matted photo uh, and CD presentation display. It's 299.99 or 75 pounds on clear pay. First payment of four. Uh, item number is 39517. Oh, uh, next up, again, this is um, an item that uh, Gazza was uh, cooing over before the show. And a guy, again, who's been around so long, uh, you know, he's still performing. And he seems, it seems to be one of those guys who's kind of, um, his voice has sort of stayed with him over the years. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's always had that now. gravelly, you know, voice, you know, but he, he's... He's massive. I mean, on, he's one of those guys. I've seen him a couple of times on stage. Mm. I remember, you may have heard the story if you've known me a long time. And we were in New York once and he was on. And I was, uh, in my previous life, I used to work a lot in the stamp world. And it was this big stamp exhibition. But the, some of the international post offices, of which we did a lot of business with, I was a director of Stanley Gibbons, you know. And they used to always have very pretty girls and guys on the stand. So being a natural, friendly chap, one of them, the, the, from, uh, if they might be watching, from Iceland, they said to me, oh, I said, we doing the night, girls? They said, oh, we'd love to see Rob. We can't get the tickets. Anyway, I'll speed this up. I managed to go to Ma Mad got half Mad Come yeah. on. <laughs> Madison Square Garden and beg them. Like, and they go, it's sold out in 48 hours. They go, look, you don't understand the story. You know, I've got two beautiful ladies who want to go with me to see this tonight. You've got to help me out. And he went... Go on then. And he gave us the tickets, you know, about six rows from the front. Wow. And one, of, one of the guys I took with, because I got one for this other old guy used to work with us, dear soul, no longer with us. And he fell asleep. What and, in the Rod, show? and Rod Stewart actually commented, Is he awake? And I went, No, he's driven him asleep. And he absolutely really was laughing but he's a great entertainer on stage he really is. gets the audience going and he in our tea, he was on for two and a half hours in that particular gig and he never fit he never went off he yeah. just come off changed and carried on he didn't have any breaks but he's amazing another one who can move around a bit you know and, yeah. uh, great talent and he does a load for charity i admire him a lot so if you're a rod fan 
great item, it really is. And remember, hand signed. Yeah, and one of the very best. If uh, you know anyone who loves Rod Stewart, that needs to be snapped up right away. Uh, hand signed by Rod Stewart, uh, that frame photo and CD presentation display. Uh, £299.99, £75 today on clear page 375074 next up i mean are you this sort of met rod stewart you know <laughs> met, no i've not met rod stewart well you see well you see yeah, well, i've seen, I've it, seen yeah. him around but, but i've not met him he's no. definitely met this next person <laughs> uh the one and only the lovely kylie minogue uh this is a personally signed uh, 16 by 12 mounted photo and uh signed cd display um i quite like this one yeah, well, you can see she's got beautiful eyes. That's what I noticed. Lovely eyes. She's always had lovely eyes and a great bubbly personality, you know. Yeah. And she's, she's, to be honest, again, she's another lady who's constantly reinvented herself with yeah. her music. Met her at a charity do. You couldn't meet a more charming, lovely lady. I mean, I loved her when I arrived, and by the time I left, I'd yeah. have married her. You yeah, know? you said you, but, had, you, had, you had a bit of banter with her, didn't you? And she was, well, she was, she was really lovely, good. you know. Yeah. She was absolutely, really, really nice, lovely person. And she, again, I know she does stuff for charity, helped out, but on stage, she's magic. You know, mm. she moves around, jumps about everywhere. If, I tell you what, if I took her out, you'd have to have a lead to keep the camp back. <laughs> Yeah, you know. <laughs> not on the lead, I mean, I'm joking. I mean, to control her dancing, you know. Like? She'd probably have me on the lead and shoot me, but never mind. <laughs> no, but she's a really nice person. And again, this comes uh, mounted up. This, this is a 16 by 12 mount, and you've got the CD, great image of her there in her holiday attire, and hand signed by Kylie herself, you know. Yeah, I have a feeling that, that uh, you know might, might be a popular one. Um, but like you said, she's been around for so long. Like a lot of people will remember that obviously she started off in um, in Neighbours, didn't she? Back in the eighties, yeah. had yeah. a few hits with Sock Aitken and Waterman, and then yeah. kind of just kept reinventing herself through the decades. And yeah, still, still going strong. She has done, and she's got a massive fan base. Mm. Massive, massive fan base. She's and again a lovely, you know, lovely lady. So or appears to be a lovely lady. Only spent about thirty seconds talking to her, but she was mm. ever so nice. Yeah, if you want to pick that one up, uh, if you're one of the many, many uh, Kylie Minogue fans, that one personally signed, uh, mounted photo and signed CD displays. Three hundred and thirty-nine ninety-nine. Clear pays eighty-five pounds today. First payment of four. Treble three three one eight is the item number. Three 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 one eight. This is a, a show of legends so yeah. far, isn't it? This is unbelievable. And from Kylie to a guy, you know, you talk about people who um, reinvented themselves. Um, David Bowie certainly from the sixties, you know, uh, through well three, four decades, kept doing it, didn't he? Yeah, he was amazing, wasn't he? Originally from Brixton, where I lived as a oh, kid, yeah. you know. He, uh, yeah, he was, what's his name, David White, wasn't it, originally? I think it was, yeah. Yeah, he was a great talent. But as you say, I mean, from some of the more obscure songs like The Gnome and, mm. you know, The Laughing Gnome and they did things like Space Oddity, which really put him on the map. And then he'd do something really jazzy like Let's Dance. Yeah, and, and he then did, all um, the, well, the you know, um, Jagger like, he did as well, didn't he? Dancing in the Yeah, street. yeah, he, he was a great talent mm. but he as you say constantly reinvented himself but the thing about him as well he really reached into the heart and soul of his fans mm. you know they he hit he, he, you know they sort of understood him and reached out to him I mean, he laid his life on the line didn't he he was he he, he would like People would relate to him through his, their music, through his fashion, through his sexuality, through his movies. But he constantly, constantly reinvented himself. He's got a massive fan base worldwide. I mean, when he sadly passed away, anything of Bowie, you know, I mean, his signature probably a couple of years ago would be free, you know, a couple hundred pounds. Now you'd be lucky if you can get one for 1,500. Wow. This is what happens with a lot of this memorabilia. Obviously, I don't want to wipe it up. But particularly signed items and items that are rare, people buy them. And of course, as, as the years roll by and it's further and further, you're not going to get nothing else signed. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how many rock stars pass away early, you know, and you suddenly, you know, got this massive reinvention of them. It's like now with Mercury and Bowie, George Michael, people are always looking for them. They never knew them as kids, but you've got all these new people looking for them, and there's nothing there to get. Mm. So inevitably the price starts to soar. And a lot of people now, you know, with shares and pensions flying around everywhere, do put their money into into sort of memorabilia, and it could be art, watches, whatever you're into. They do that because they get great pleasure from it, but also if they're lucky and based on past performance, quite often the old value does increase considerably. You can't guarantee that, so don't buy them for speculation. But based on the 
previous performances of the last few years and decades, prices have gone through the roof on memorabilia. Think about Beatles. You know, we've got a set, you know, set of Beatles autographs maybe four years ago, five, six hundred pounds, probably now found five, six thousand pounds upwards. Wow, yeah. You know. Yeah, so it's worth thinking about, but as Gaz always says, you know, buy it because you love it. And so many uh, Barry fans out there as well. And again, this is limited edition of 100, but we've got far less than that, haven't we? Yeah, we've got far, far less. Uh, you know, some of these are down to single figures. Mm. That's how few there is. And remember, whoever you buy that for, they will cherish this forever because it's something that's unique, it's rare, it's special, and you can only buy it here. So that's how rare it is. And the one you get, remember, you're the only person in the world will ever own that because it's that number numbered limited edition of a hundred so they're completely so rare and so unique and so special and like you say with well, your loving for his 60s music the stuff he did in the 70s maybe you remember him from uh, that movie labyrinth uh, whatever it might be uh if you've got a bowie fan or if you are one uh, pick this up 249 pounds 99 is the price on that one once again you can spread the cost with clear pay 62 pounds 50 today uh it's 390488 and you can order online at collectiblesguru.com or if you want a phone you can the free phone number 0800 254 5402 next up um is a, a lovely piece um, from the Greece official soundtrack. And um, we showed you this a few weeks ago. It's proved uh, very popular. Of course, uh, a lot of people now, um, I guess, will be looking for items like this because of the sad news about Olivia Newton-John. But even mm. before that, you know, this movie, which was, I think, 1978, it came out. God, it's still that. as popular is that? today, isn't it? Yeah, it's still it as popular is. today. It's massive, massive. And there's so many hit records that came from it. I mean, it was a great movie. I remember, obviously being around when it first came out and it, it was amazing you know mm. everybody trying to do the dances and all that you know yeah everybody trying to get away when i was doing it <laughs> but you know <laughs> but it was it's a great great album one of the biggest selling albums ever and this just takes you back if you grew up through that era or you just want some you're building a collection but if you grew up for this era it will re it'll evoke so many memories from the time you know it might be where you met your partner or got married or hitched or new job new life whatever it is but or it might just be the music yeah you know the music's amazing and it's a fabulous movie and she was absolutely great in it and John Travolta he was a legend in this sort of movie wasn't he oh yeah absolutely was and, and again you know like we were saying um, earlier on about like you know bands like Queen music from those sort of artists and like from this sort of album it's uh, music now which is gonna live on like my daughter uh, has just turned 11 you know she loves all of the Greece music she loves yeah. the movie you know it's that kind of thing that you know it's relevant now as it was back in 1978 and you still know that it's still going to be relevant in 10 20 years time yeah a lot of these acts here these ones that we've gone to are almost ageless yeah there yeah. is no age because you say you've got grandchildren to you know to elder children to parents to you know that's how it is grandparents yeah because yeah. the music's been around that long and it's so talented and it's so versatile that it la it stands the pace amazingly didn't it, it stands the case of time yeah and again you know I'm, i've got a, you know my son's got four little daughters you know between 12 and 6 and you know they're great and they love you put anything like this and they'll start dancing yeah. you know yeah. if I dance he goes sit down granddad <laughs> <laughs> poor old guy he just wants to have a dance you don't yeah, want to see yeah. it though you just sit well if right I turn on their toes that's what it is, you know? <laughs> <laughs> then they have got a problem uh, it is the Greeks official soundtrack 24 by 20 frame platinum disc and photo display limited to 100 once again we have far than less than that available for you if you want to pick it up, two hundred and forty-nine ninety-nine or sixty-two pounds fifty. If you want to go on Clearpay, three two three seven one five is the item number. Uh, we're halfway through already, so let's see what is coming up in the final twenty-five minutes. You've got some corkers to come, haven't you? We certainly have. Look at this one. If you remember, Chic, Nile Rogers. Yeah. So much music, similar to the uh, guitar we saw earlier. Hand signed by Nile Rogers himself. Amazing item. He's been doing quite a lot of gigs, loads of production and everything. He's a legend in the music world. Here's another Elvis one. I haven't seen this before. I don't think Moody Blue great item again one of his uh, we've got other Elvis ones on the thing on the le website do you remember that uh, www.collectiblesguru.com loads of them on there this is uh, another one proved very popular dark side of the mood from Pink Floyd 
again evoked loads of memories a great platinum dish there just like the elvis limited edition of 100 but much 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 fewer left some just handful this one we've oh, got wow. single figures left though John Lennon of Imagine, 24 by 20, frame platinum disc, limited edition of only 100. I love that. I've got that hanging on my wall, actually, but it is beautiful. Vera Lynn, the Forty sweetheart, you know, great talent, so loved and revered through the recent, only recently left us as well. So it's a great opportunity if you have someone who grew up with her, grab them this, it's uh, personally signed. Then we have Blondie, another band that are always popular. Same idea, uh, again, the Platinum Disc, limited edition of 100, but again, we only have a handful. Anything to do with Blondie is always red hot. Then we have old Bob Marley, of course, uh, uh, the, well, the legend of reggae, took reggae to new, new areas, really, didn't he? Says legend, he was a legend, died at sadly a very young age, and a lot of people now of all ages adore this guy, and his music lives on. Another, oh dear, another one not too long ago left us. Uh, I've seen him live, they were great, Meatloaf. This is an album that was, this is actually in the top 20 albums, I think, yeah. longer than a lot of others. I think some of it may have beaten it now, but it was there for ages. Alfie Bow, great singer, originally started in Doily Cart, does those duets a lot with Michael Ball, doesn't he? Highly talented, can sing like me in the bath, but he's a lot better at it. <laughs> and uh, again, hand oh. side, much better oh, at dear. it. Sorry. Paloma Faith, well, again, a great talent. Always seems a lovely lady when she's at uh, chat shows and things. Again, you've got that mounted image of a great image, isn't it? And it's hand signed there by Paloma herself. Could be yours. Like with all these items, though, do not even think about blinking because they will go so quick we're really small stocks and if you want something for that special occasion okay, dive in here quick because they just fly out the door and some are so so small one of them even some are just one and i think it's a good point as well just before we go on just to chat about you know buying with confidence with you because you know it might be the first time that someone's thought about getting a signed collectible you know and they might be a little bit you know worried about it because as mm. you've you touched on it can be a bit of a minefield but you know you're the guy to come to aren't you <laughs> well we've been around a long time i guess <laughs> would you? but uh, the great thing about anything we bring you here on sporty stuff tv is everything we bring you the provider of it or the supplier is a dealer of many years service they're all members of either AFTEL, PDSA, UACC, organisations like that. In other words, they're dealer trade associations that are highly respected. I'm a member myself of AFTEL, so either myself or one of the fellow dealers, you'll get a certificate of authenticity, it'll have the name, the address, the phone number, get in touch with them any time you want. It'll have their dealer or their trade member number, and they're the organisation, if you've never seen these shows before, they actually are the go-to organisation for the police, for trading standards, auction houses, uh, insurance companies. They go to them to authenticate autographs. So that gives you the, you know, the proof that when you want it, you know it's real. And it's so important, especially with signed stuff, imperative. You know, don't take risks. Buy it from places like us or other organisations, that you know, members of organisations like that. It takes away all the doubt. Absolutely right, and particularly when you're looking at buying items like this next item, because this is so, so special. Uh, another signed guitar, this one signed by uh, Nile Rogers, of course, was famous with them. Um, Chic, Chic, wasn't yes. he? Yeah, Le Freak, yeah. Great guy as well. I mean, he's done so much music arrangement, production. He's doing for a lot other now people. as well with like Still Bands doing now, a lot, yeah. yeah. He's done a stint of touring the, uh, did quite a few gigs recently, and some of those that are getting bigger now on the race courses. He did a few mm. of them as well. He's fabulous live. I've seen him live, you know. He really is good. But he's so talented, and again, a very humble guy. But again, this is hand signed by Nile Rogers. You've got the guitar there, really, really rare item, and signed by him himself. Obviously, something like this is a, is a considered purchase, but if you're looking for something really special, or you know someone who is, you know, maybe you've had a rough time, maybe you've, you know, you think, oh, I'm gonna do something I want. Hit the car, get yourself something that you'll love. That's what these items are. And who knows, in years to come, if, it's, if it works like the predecessors have, I would be surprised if they see, don't quite, see quite a jump in the value. Obviously, we can't guarantee that, so don't, 
do it for that reason. Buy it because you love it or you know someone who will. But these items are so, so rare. And th this is a piece of history again, isn't it, really? Yeah, no, it is. And, uh, you know, maybe you're a buddy musician or maybe there's someone in your family who's a buddy musician. Maybe, you, I don't know, maybe you've got your own little mini studio at home where you like to sort of play, whether it's guitar, piano, whatever. You know, you talk about these discs looking amazing at home. Uh, I mean, how great is that going to look? You know, oh, well, no, a guitar looks amazing, yeah. you know. I know someone who's got a guitar of Clash on their wall, you yeah. know. And they look at it and everyone goes, wow, you know, where'd you get that from? And it, it, it just, you walk in, they've actually got a lot of art. They've got a few Bob, these people, I won't say their name. You might want to come and visit them. <laughs> but they've got some amazing, you know, art. They've got some, you know, like pop art with Andy Warhol and things, you know. And they've got this guitar in the middle of the wall and it is the centerpiece of people's attraction. They always zoom into the guitar. Obviously, there's still the other art around, but this centerpiece guitar of a band he loves, it, 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 it just turns heads, you know. It's amazing. They look stunning. That you will need to snap up if you want it. Um, it really is a one-off, this. £1,199.99 is the price. Personally signed guitar uh, by the legend that is Niall Rogers. The item number is 343021. If that is your item of choice, uh, consider purchase, yes, but do not hang around if you want to grab that one. Uh, let's have a look at uh, another item right now. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the king, one of the greats, Elvis Presley, and this is a... Uh, a, a, a moody blue uh, disc and photo, isn't it? Looks like your suit you wear at the disco, that one, doesn't it? Or, <laughs> they don't call them discos anymore, it's clubs. Shows how old I am. Discos. Yeah, discos. <laughs> yeah. But again, great item for an Elvis fan. This one's called Misty Blue. And again... Moody 20, Blue. T uh, sorry, Moody Blue. Let's say Misty Blue. <laughs> Misty so, Blue. God, teeth get eyes again. Yeah, sorry, Moody Blue. Uh, 24 by 20 again. Once again, these all of these discs on this show are exclusive to this channel. You won't see them anywhere else. They're part of an original TV promotion elsewhere can't get them anywhere else and a lot of them we have nowhere near 100 some of them are single figures mm. but i tell you what they make fantastic gifts they really do i mean obviously if you're unhappy you can send it back but you won't be all you'll be doing is wanting more 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 and again an elvis fan would adore that yeah, absolutely. And the great thing is, again, about items like this, you know, we talk about it a lot with the sport, you know, if you're a, a collector of football memorabilia or boxing, you've yeah. got a lot of other um, Elvis items on the website because we've seen the Sun Records one as well. Yeah, we? we've got the Sun Records one and um, there's another one or two others due to come for a couple of items. And then we've got a couple of you have been in touch. We'd love to hear from you, by the way. So do get in touch. You can send messages to studio at Collectors Guru. Uh, Sorry, Clay, what did I say? Clay, 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 Clay. I've got Clay, my own thing. Let, yeah. me, let me don't do even that. Know me. Yeah, let you do that bit. He'll <laughs> tell you. Yeah, sorry, getting too excited. But I'm saying you can let us know what, we, uh, what we're looking for and what you're looking for, and we'll do our utmost to bring it to you. And I'll shut up and let Ben tell you where to send a message. Studio <laughs> at collectablesguru.com. Uh, yeah, I did that, make sure you were concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to throw in the old curveball like that, yeah. Uh, 301, treble two is your item number if you want to bag that one. That's the Elvis Presley Moody Blue 24 by 20 framed gold disc and photo display, limited to 100. But once again, uh, we have far less than that available this evening. £62.50 tonight. It's your first payment of four on Clearpay, which you can do via the website. If you do want to phone up, you can as well. Free phone is 0800 254 5402. Uh, next up, um, talk about one of the biggest bands, possibly one of the biggest albums of all time, uh, Pink Floyd. Yeah, they were huge. And again, the interesting thing about Pink Floyd, I mean, they did, um, an old friend of mine, Martin Goldsmith, Event Inc., he, he, he's the brother of, Har of Harvey Goldsmith, the the music, um, the music producer, you know, and um, Pink Floyd are amazing, you know. They they did he did their world tour, the last world tour, uh, and okay. all the merch for them. Yeah, and they're very private, you know. They're very hard to get anything signed by this band. It's like massive money, you know. But this is again is an opportunity, one of their most famous albums you'll ever see. Again, same as all the others, are exclusive to here in this format. You get that great ten by eight photograph and the big image there. 
of the platinum disc. They look brilliant. They really do. They no. If you look at it, it's just the same as the real item. You know, yeah. the real original disc. I mean, you had the original disc of that good. I think mean, it'd be probably well over a hundred thousand pounds. Wow. You know? Yeah. That's what they got. Things like that are massive. This this on the wall, hung on the wall, will turn heads just as much. But it's a very affordable version. But there's only a hundred people in the world got the opportunity to own it. And so the one you get, as I say, you'll be the only person ever to own that one. Yeah, and as much as it looks great on your TV screen right now, just to have a look, in a look around here, I think it's worth bearing in mind, when you get this home and have it you know, in front of you in person, it, it looks even better. Do you know what I mean? It, it looks mm. great on the screen right now, but you can't appreciate how good these are and how big these are until you get amongst them. Yeah, they're great. Person. It's a great way you can do it. If you build it, you know, your own room or your own domain, whether it be a business or yeah. a office or a study, dining room, whatever it is, you know, they do look fantastic on the room, on the room, on the wall in your room. They look fabulous, you know, and they really do turn heads. And the amount of people that buy four or five, six, they, they build a whole collection because around the wall, they look amazing. Uh, Three seven nine zero four four is your item number for this one. The Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon, twenty four by twenty framed platinum disc with that photo display as, uh, as well. Once again, limited to just one hundred of those. Two hundred and forty nine pounds ninety nine, and four payments of sixty two fifty if you're using ClearPay. Uh, all the details at collectiblesguru.com. Uh, this next one is uh, lovely. It's um, Featuring John Lennon, of course, uh, of the Beatles. Um, only with us, wasn't he, till the early 80s, very sadly. But still, yeah. again, a, another guy, you know, whether it be through the Beatles or through the um, solo work that he did, his music still lives on, especially this uh, song. He was amazing. I mean, John Lennon wrote so much great stuff. And he lived, he lived it obviously, in New York. And, I mean, what, you know, the day that that terrible assassination happened. I mean, he used to... It was quite well documented. He came out of the Dakota building where he lived in, uh, in Manhattan. He would come out with Yoko. And they would go for, allegedly, croissants and coffee mm. most mornings. And they were seen around and, you know, not difficult. And he, on the day that he sadly passed away, he signed an album, you know, for the guy who ended up assassinating him you know which mm. was really really sad but i remember when it came on the radio in the morning when i was getting ready to go to work and i, I just burst i thought it was some idiot you know some mm. sort of you heard john lennon had died and i thought what's this about and when it the penny dropped the tears started to run down my face because i couldn't believe him because i'd grown up with john lennon you know what i mean yeah and i'm thinking it can't be real it's must be some nutty thing going on and i was i feel guilty to say i was I, I actually shed more tears than when a couple of my distant relatives died. I'm like, awful. But it's because I grew up with him. Yeah, I you know, know what you mean. It was like he felt part of me. He was there, you know. And he was amazing, amazing talent. And again, this is so, so special. To own something that's almost a homage to the guy, I think, you know, I've got this on my own war at home and I look at it and it always reminds me of the great music and what a fabulous talent he was. Yeah, and like you say, he wrote so many songs, didn't he, with Paul McCartney and the Beatles, and then you know, so much great music, um, you know, on his own. And this song, Imagine, still gets uh, still gets played uh, nowadays as well. He got, he's got a tear in his eye. A tear now, in my eye, yeah, yeah. I, I have. I tell you, things. <laughs> um, I have. It's Terrible. If you uh, if you want to pick this one up, I think for any Beatles fan, any John Lennon fan, uh, this is an absolutely beautiful um, platinum disc and photo display, limited edition of just 100. And but again, we don't have a hundred of those available this evening. So you consider how many people are watching the show right now. Uh, if even just uh, you know one percent of you decide that you want to uh, get this, it's gone very very quickly indeed. Three eight three two one six is your item number. Uh, £249.99 and again £62.50 on clear pay for payments of course uh, right there. Uh, next up, um, a, an unbelievable lady, um, you know, as you said earlier on, the Forces sweetheart Vera Lynn who um, only passed away a couple of years ago. Yeah, I think she was 103, long. wasn't she? Yeah, sure amazing. She yeah, amazing, isn't it? And there you've got her genuine hand signed signature. Now a lot of the celebrities of that era, you can see exactly who signed that, can't you? Yeah, it's nice and clear. Some of the, there's some actors and various sports people now 
it, I, won't, I better not name names. <laughs> not on air, anyway. I might get sued. But you, you see the autograph and you think, what is that? Yeah. It looks like a mouse has run across an inkwell <laughs> and just spread it around. What an you image. Know? <laughs> and there's a few like that. I mean, obviously, celebrities, their time's difficult. You know, they're hammered by fans. You know, you're lucky enough to get a signature of any time. But some of them, you've had no idea who it is. Mm. It could be King Canute and it's, it's somebody else, <laughs> you know. You wouldn't have a clue. But that is a lovely full signature from what was an amazing lady who yeah. touched the hearts of millions, kept the spirits up through the last World War and afterwards, did loads for charity. And it's just, we only have a handful of these. And if you know someone from that era, maybe, a, you know, a father, a grandfather, a could be grandmother, grandma, that that would really hit hit the hit the heart. It's a lovely picture of her. They call, yeah, you say they called her the uh, Forces sweetheart, wouldn't you? Yeah, she's lovely. Be what a beautiful photo! Is that it's a, a lovely photograph, beautiful photograph of a beautiful lady. You yeah. know, comes framed and mounted, sixteen inches by twelve inches. Lovely item. Again, I've never seen one, and she looks. At, she always looked immaculate, didn't she? Yeah. Whenever you saw her in an interview or on the TV, and of course in the war years, she was out there with the troops, among them, entertaining them. She was an enigma. Dame Vera Lynn, your chance is that, you know, probably, I don't know if we'd ever see another one. I've only ever seen one sign thing by her ever before. It's a great price as well for what it is, Im yeah. immense price. But if you know someone, especially who was part of that, that makes an amazing gift for them. It will touch their heart and bring so many memories flooding back. Yeah, and that song certainly came back again, didn't it, during those COVID times? We'll meet again, probably the mm. most famous song that you know that, that, that she recorded. Uh, that, that song came again back to prominence with you know people thinking they're not going to see relatives for That's so long right. because of everything uh, that happened. I know. It's it's a very uh, special song yeah. and um, very, very, you know, it just it just evokes so many memories for so many people. Yeah. But that could be yours because Vera Lynn really is something special. Absolutely right. And uh, like we said, premiered tonight, there's hard any of these actually just a handful if you want to get this one I really lo love the fact that the signature is so clear personally side but I think it's a gorgeous gorgeous picture of Dame Vera Lynn as well um, someone in your life I'm sure would love to have that as a gift this year £149.99 and only £37.50 today if you're using clear pay to spread the cost uh, next up um, Blondie, if you're a big fan of uh, Debbie Harry, you'll want this on your wall, won't you? Yeah, she, I mean, Blondie again have a huge following, and Debbie Harry's still performing out there in uh, Manhattan, and uh, she's done a few gigs here, hasn't she, I believe? Yeah. But she's um, great, great talent. Blondie were a great band, that's so many hits, and with her at the forefront, they attracted a lot of um, mal attention, let's say, you know. <laughs> she was uh, she was great, wasn't she? And she's still there performing, I believe now, what, in the 70s? is she she's amazing absolutely amazing and the band have a huge following worldwide you know massive following blondie so if you want something that's uh, gonna hit the heart of glass or you know your name's Denis Denis gotta think about it yeah you know he's, terrible he's been waiting for that the whole <laughs> show I know he's, he, he must have written that down before yeah the I wrote show. on my arm but yeah, yeah but never mind <laughs> I should have done. I could. I should have done comedy scripts. I'd have been. I'd have been bankrupt, wouldn't I? Very quickly. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I, I, I'm trying to think of something clever to follow that up with, but I, I can't. Nothing's quite springing to mind now. Uh, so I'll just. I'll just move on. Uh, it's uh, Blondie. Parallel lines. Twenty-four by twenty. That framed platinum disc of photo display. Limited edition of hundred again. And uh, again, that nice price. Two hundred and forty-nine pounds ninety-nine. Sixty-two pounds fifty today. Uh, on Clearpay. So you can do that via the website collectiblesguru.com or if you do want to call free phone number 0800 254 5402. Worth bearing in mind as well, um, we mentioned on previous shows, you can see this show each and every Sunday night at 10 p.m. here on Sporty Stuff TV. It's repeated during the week as well. If you are watching one of the repeats, just worth check the website, especially with a few of these sort of lower stock items because items may well have sold out. So do just check the website um, before you're they jumping in. Fly out the door, they really do fly out the door. Don't hang around. Uh, Another item which I think is going to fly out the door is this next one uh, featuring Bob Marley, um, a guy like you said, he, he passed away far too early, but brought um, reggae to the masses really, didn't he? He did. He was an amazing talent. I remember, you know, No Woman, No Cry and all those big hits he had. But he did. He, he was... 
uh, it, it put a little bit of, I don't mean to be rude because I was brought up in Brixton, and, you know, reggae was all around me and the Ram Jam Club with Gino Washington was very close to where I lived at the time. So I had all these sort of reggae icons around. But Bob Marley sort of put a bit of gloss on it, dare I say, maybe that's the word. And he took it to a different level, attracted a much bigger audience. And his music touched the soul of a lot of people. Great talent, taken far too young. But he was an immense talent. And as you say this has proven really really popular but again very very little out there of Bob Marley I mean I've been trying to get his autograph for someone for about three years and the most recent one I mean I just can't get them it's so rare because he sadly went so early but I think his autograph was about you know it's going to cost about seven or eight grand you just can't get them they're so so rare mm. Uh, but this, like you say, is just a great way to be able to celebrate the man and have something that looks the absolute business um, on your on your wall at home. Because again, you just won't appreciate how great this is until you see it in person. No, that's right. Um, Bob Marley, there, a legend in, in in name, in music, and there he is on your screen. Uh, it is a great item, but don't hang around again. We have very very few of them. Um, price on that one: two hundred and forty nine ninety. Uh, or again, if you want to go on Clearpay, you can do uh, 62.50 again. There's four payments there, 62.50. The item number is 348949 um, if you want to jump in and grab that. Next up, um, again, if you love your rock music, you will uh, want to get your hands on this. I'd forgotten until you mentioned the start of the show, of course, um, Meatloaf, uh, Mar Marvin Aday was his real name, wasn't it? Um, passed oh, away, didn't he? Yeah, yeah very I'd recently, very recently. Yeah. Um, a great talent as well. I saw him live in concert and wow. I mean, this album was massive. It, as I say, it was in the top 20 albums. For, I think it's not ridiculous. It went out, come back for yeah. something like 10 years. Yeah, you know? it, it was. Massive, You're right. massive album. Yeah. So many hit records on it. And, and, and a lot of the words were a bit, you know, rocky band, but it was like rock music on the, on the go, a bit different, wasn't it? I loved it. We used to play it up, up, up. We'd go up to the Lake District to my family, you know, and they'd have a couple of um, soft drinks, of course. Of course. And late at night, you put this on, and you all knew the words, and it would be, ah, oh, it was like, wow, you know. And there were so many tracks on this album that yeah. were fantastic. And long tracks as well. Like yeah, that, long about eight minutes long, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. Version. Amazing album and an amazing performer live. Came, did a, quite a bit of acting in his later yeah, life did. as well. He went to a couple of conventions here in the UK. I wasn't there, but they said the queues for his autograph were like four or five hours. You mm -hmm. know, he's massive. And again, great opportunity to get your piece of a, a well, an album that's just a... Pfft, it's just a legendary album, isn't it? You know. Yeah, I mean, no, no uh, you know, uh, we're not hyping this up at all. One of the biggest albums of all time, I think, really. Yeah. Uh, if you want to grab that one, it is the Bat Out of Hell 24 by 20 frame platinum disc and photo display, limited again to 100. 62 pounds 50 today is your first uh, clear pay payment of four. If you want to grab it, just seeing the time, we've got to uh, get these yeah, last two it in. Go? It's flown over. Uh, next up, um, a sign item by Alfie Bow. Uh, he seems like a lovely chap, and like you said, he's doing a lot with um, Michael Ball, isn't he? Yeah, he's done it? quite a lot of duets. Great singer. Yeah. I mean, apparently he was um, somebody who heard him singing and recommended him to Doily Cart in the U in uh, London. Yeah. Um, and then I think his career went very much that way. But big talent. Of course, he had a big part in Les Miserables as well, didn't he? You know, mm. great, great talent. And his voice is just <laughs> unbelievable. If I could hit 10% of them notes, I'd be, you know, I'm sure I'd be performing music somewhere. <laughs> probably, probably in the bathroom. Yeah, pro probably the same place <laughs> as I do now. It, same as now, at the end of the garden, you know. The With neighbor, the neighbours going, yeah, shut up! They always shut the windows. <laughs> oh, no, not him again. You know. <laughs> I think I sound like a nightingale, maybe with a sore throat. <laughs> But Alfie <laughs> Bow is amazing. Great singer and always comes across as a genuine nice guy. Yeah. Again, framed and mounted, hand signed, ready to just put on your favourite wall, you know. Yeah, and again, it's a great piece. Yeah, lovely images there too. Um, sort of a couple of sort of candid shots, and you have got him there belting out the tunes there as well, which is yeah. lovely. Um, 139.99 for that. Again, uh, not a whole load of those. So if you fancy that one, if you know anyone who's an Alfie Bow fan, maybe you've been to see him in concert recently with uh, Michael Ball. Get that for any Alfie Bow lover. It's 35 pounds today 
on ClearPay. Your first payment of four on the website collectiblesguru.com. And uh, we're almost there. The last item is uh, from Paloma Faith. Uh, another one that's been signed, this, isn't it? Yeah, hand signed. This is a great mounted image there. And a, a, it's a stunning image, that, and it? It's almost mystical. You know? Yeah. Very sort of... Uh, to me, I don't know what that feels like. Freedom and wind and the sea. Hang on, I'm getting carried away here, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I should. Very poetic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a poet, don't you know? Yeah. It? Anyway, get a bit worried yeah. when you start talking about wind, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but boom. Yeah, Paloma Faith. You come back, honest. Paloma Faith again, a great talent. Always comes across as a really nice lady as well, doesn't she? She does. Yeah, highly talented. And you've got that great uh, image of her, the mounted image. This one, sixteen by twelve and a hand signed by the lady herself. That's ready to just stick in a standard frame and hang again on your favourite wall, wherever it may be. But she's always popular. And again, really low stocks on this one. So it's just a, a few. And once they're gone, you know, they're gone. And do remember all of these items, the, the signed ones and the, and the discs, comes with a, a certificate of authenticity and all the proof, you know, that it's real. And hang on to all that paperwork and keep checking the web like it's constantly changing. That item, if you would like it, is £299.99. Yeah, do go quick. Not many of those at all. Um, four clear pay payments of £75. Uh, the item number is 356102. If you want to shop on the phones as well, you can. That free phone number, 0800 254 5402. And as always, the website is the place to have a look. You've got all the um, items there and you can watch past shows as well, can't you? Yeah, they can watch all the shows there. You can go on YouTube and watch them as well. And again, you can watch the repeats in the week. So put yeah, you know, keep watching, keep looking. Let us know what you're looking for and we'll go looking for it. Absolutely. Uh, thanks to Gazza. Thanks to you for watching. We'll be back next Sunday night at 10 o'clock here on Sporty Stuff TV. But for now, see you then. Bye. See ya. You've been watching a commercial presentation brought to you by Collectibles Guru.